Oh, hi guys and welcome. So in today's news, the WHO has advised people to wear masks in public. They had previously argued that there was not enough evidence about its benefits. If, like me, you are finding this mask discussion conflicting and confusing, then please continue watching this video. Let's get started. Now, as a mask user, you have a choice of two types of masks, medical masks and non-medical masks. Let's first understand the difference between the two. First, medical masks. Medical masks can be further broken down into two types, surgical masks and respirators. Surgical masks and respirators are used in hospitals and other healthcare settings. They are examples of personal protective equipment or PPE, a term that is used quite often these days. So what is the difference between the two? Respirator masks are more strongly designed than surgical masks. And, as the name suggests, they contain a respirator that prevents much smaller particles from passing through. Two of the most common respirator masks are N95 masks and N99 masks, which, when used correctly, prevent 95% and 99% of airborne particles from passing through. At this point, I wish to pause and repeat the words, when used correctly. Please make a note of this. We will come back to this point later. Okay, moving ahead. While these masks offer a high level of protection, they are costly in limited supply, contribute to pollution levels and are uncomfortable to wear for long periods. Because of these points, many countries where mask wearing is compulsory recommend that such masks should be reserved for health workers or those at a higher risk, such as people over the age of 60. So this brings us to our next category, non-medical masks. These masks are face coverings that are non-standardized, that is, they do not comply with an accepted standard such as the N95. These masks thus can also be made at home. Now that we understand what choices we have when it comes to masks, the next question is, are they effective in stopping the spread of COVID-19? But first, let us take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We are looking at two situations here. A person spreading COVID and a person getting infected from another person having COVID. Now, it is natural that most people who wear masks might be more concerned about catching the virus, but we should also consider the fact that we should not be spreading the virus. At this point, you may say, hey, wait a minute, people who have COVID should stay at home and not roam the streets. You are right, but the problem is that people with COVID often have no symptoms. In fact, a Hong Kong University study suggests that 44% of cases are caused by people without symptoms at the time of transmission. Okay, coming back to the main question. Is a mask effective? To provide an answer to this question, we need to conduct randomized controlled trials in which one group wears masks and the other does not, and then see which is more effective. But this, of course, is ethically tricky. But hamsters catch COVID-19 and tests were done on them. This is what was done. Researchers at Hong Kong University put cages of healthy hamsters next to cages of infected ones, with a fan in between drawing air from the infected to the healthy cage. They sometimes also placed a face mask in the airstream. To make the math simple, let us assume there were 600 healthy hamsters. With no mask in between, 400 of the healthy hamsters were infected within a week. With the mask close to the healthy hamsters, 200 hamsters were infected. This scenario is similar to healthy people wearing masks. But with the mask close to infected hamsters, only 100 hamsters got infected. This scenario is similar to an infected person wearing a mask. With experiments such as these, people are increasingly being asked to wear masks, in many cases making them compulsory. And if you do not have an N95 respirator, that is fine. Studies have found that a tea towel worn around the face captures 60% of droplets. Thus, non-medical masks too make sense. And there are some other things that definitely make sense. Maintaining social distancing, good hand hygiene, and cough etiquette are the primary measures for minimizing the risk of becoming infected by the COVID-19. Non-medical masks do not replace the above primary measures, but they do afford protection. And if you wear a mask, please follow these guidelines. 
It is recommended that a cloth mask is used for one day and then washed. They must be completely dry before reuse. Wash hands with soap or sanitizer before putting on the mask. Ensure that the mask covers the nose and mouth properly. Avoid touching the face or mask once it is put on. When removing the mask, be careful not to touch the face, mouth and nose. Fold the mask such that the inside area is folded on itself and wash hands thereafter and wash the mask as soon as possible with detergent. So that's it guys. Hope you found the video useful. If you have any useful tips, add them to the comment section. Thanks a lot and keep safe.